Yannick Sinner versus Carlos Alcaraz is the first semi-final for the men's French Open for 2024. Both guys have been super impressive to get to the semi-finals. Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number three seed, will take on the lucky loser Wolf in the first round, which is no problem getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-2, 6-1. In the second round, he take on the qualifier De Jong, who'd beaten Draper in five sets in the first round. And after dropping the third set, Alcaraz would go on to win. 6-3, 6-4, 2-6, 6-2. In the third round, he take on Korda, the 27th seed, who he'd had some battles with in the past. And after a close second set, Alcaraz would get through in straights. 6-4, 7-6, 6-3 to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, he'd take on Ojeli Asim, the 21st seed, who had just beaten Shelton in the previous round. And after being up a set and a break, FAA would get injured, allowing Carlos to win easily. 6-3, 6-3, 6-1 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number nine, City Pass, who had beaten five times previously. And this was no different. With Alcaraz getting through in straights, 6-3, 7-6, 6-4, to advance to the semifinals. Sinner into the tournament as the number two seed. We'll take on Eubanks in the first round. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-3, 6-4. In the second round, he'd take on the wildcard Gasquet. And again, no problem for Sinner getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-2, 6-4. In the third round, he'd take on Kotov, who'd taken out Nori and Vavrinka along the way. And again, no problem for Sinner getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-4, 6-4. In the fourth round, he'd take on Mute, who'd beaten the informed Jarry to get to this stage. And this was a circus. After Sinner dropped the first set, he would have to fight back to win. 2-6, 6-3, 6-2, 6-1 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on Dimitrov, the number 10 seed, who he'd just beaten in Miami a few months ago. And this was a clinic getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-4, 7-6 to advance to the semifinals. These guys have played eight times before with the head-to-head split straight down the middle at four apiece, but their only clay court match goes to Sinner in a final in Marg a couple of years ago. It's also going to be the third different Grand Slam that they've played in, and in Grand Slam matches, they're split down the middle at one apiece. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to use a variety. He did it so well in Indian Wells against Sinner in that rain-affected match. If you remember, Sinner won the first set, and then it kind of was a little bit of a rain-affected match. Then he came back with a better game plan. He needs to do that from the start, though. He can't be giving Sinner any leads in this matchup because we know that if you give Sinner the first set, he can run away with it. Sinner's going to win this one. He needs to take confidence from that win that he had a couple years ago on the clay. He's also going to be aggressive against Alcrez. He can't let Alcrez push him around and bully him and do all the playmaking and the shot making. He's got to make some shots himself and really make Alcrez run around as well. This is the best matchup we could have asked for. Two versus three. The former, the former world number one versus the new world number one. I've got to go with Elkris in this one in five sets. I'm going the upset, if you can even call it that, because I feel like this is a 50-50. I'm going to go Elkris in five sets. I reckon on clay, he might just sneak it out. If it was on a different surface, I'd pick Sinner, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.